Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and it is snowing. There are two different waves of snow that will affect the inner mountain west, all coming out of the Pacific Northwest. It's snowing. This is a uh, camera up at Alta, so snowing in the Wasatch. It's also snowing in Colorado as well. Here's the view up at Aspen Mountain. It's snowing in Snowmass. Um, Crested Butte, it snowed really good this morning. Most of that snow you see stacked over on the left side right there, that fell this morning, like six, seven, eight inches of snow. Snow is coming down up at Winter Park as well. Again, this is the first wave. The second main wave comes in tonight into tomorrow in Colorado, so it's kind of hanging on the back side. Let me just show you radar very, very quickly here. Um, and you can see the radar out of Salt Lake and the movement of that precip through uh, Salt Lake. Again, this is all kind of coming out of the northwest and moving in this direction, so slamming right up against the Wasatch, and then it's moving down into Colorado. That's the storm track right now. Um, let me take you back to some of these cams. Let me just show you what it looks like right now on the satellite. So this is visible satellite, and I'm going to mark it. So there's a little low ahead. There's the main low that's kind of hanging back here. There's a big low up here and probably one back here as well. But look at the band of clouds that stretch over, stretch out over the, uh, the northern Pacific right there. Um, let me just mark the storm track so you can really see the jet right there running all of this into BC and the Pacific Northwest and then it's bending down on a west-northwest flow and bringing it south through Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, Utah, and Colorado, missing California. But all of these lows are lined up, and most of them will come through at some point. Um, we'll talk about the extended forecast in a little bit. I actually wrote about it this morning, snow forecast through Halloween and beyond, on my on my blog, christomer.com. Um, some bullet points. Um, the setup is there. I looked at 11.1 through 11.5, and it looks the same to me as it did yesterday with a big trough, a big area of low pressure or dip in the jet sitting across the west and the inner mountain west. And this one may be a little further west. Hopefully, we can get some precip into California out of this. I don't, although I don't think it's a guarantee at this point. Two big highs stacked on either side of this thing. Um, and then I went ahead and updated the November, December, January pattern as I see it. And um, that's the way I think it's going to shake out. Active, bottom line, active jet for the west, especially the inner mountain, the northern inner mountain west, central to northern Colorado, northern Utah, the Pacific Northwest, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Banff, BC. I think all will have an active pattern um, in those three months, November, December, and January. So I talked about that. And here's the timing on all this. Let me show you what this is going to look like. So here's the future radar um, in the satellite. So by the time we get to tomorrow at 6 a.m., most of the precip's in Colorado, and then it moves away. By the afternoon, evening, it's moving through southern Colorado, and then we're in for a few days of high pressure, probably all the way through the 30th in the Intermountain West. But look at that! Look at the big low hitting the Pacific Northwest. That's one of those lows I showed you out over the Pacific. So they're all lined up. There's Monday the 31st. And so by Monday night, that precip, that low, starts to spin south into Idaho, western Montana, Oregon. And then by the time we get to 11-1, it starts to move into the interior, northern Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and so on. So that, let me just run this through one more time so you can see it. So there's uh, tomorrow at 6. There's tomorrow at 6.15 p.m., and then by the time we get into Friday morning, we're clear. That storm has moved away, high pressure for a few days. Saturday at 6, the Pacific Northwest and BC get all of the action, including Banff, into Sunday morning. Then that low starts to drop south by late Monday. And there it is by 8.45. Um, so let me take a look at, um, in fact, here's a, here's a high res of that November, December, January pattern, if you want to see it again, with the active jet across the northern and mountain west, Pacific Northwest, BC, and Banff. Northern Colorado, central to northern Colorado, and northern Utah. Um, here's my snow forecast. This will run us through the 27th, so this would be uh, snowfall today and tomorrow, three to six across the Wasatch, four to 10 in Colorado, 
and probably another two, three, or four up in the Tetons, and uh, about a foot in Whistler Black home. And again, that runs through the 27th. Here's phase number two. This is the active pattern for 11-1 through 11-4, and the numbers are pretty big. Now on this, I hold steady with what I was talked about, what I ta was talking about yesterday. I keep California out of the mix. I think the pattern stays about the same um, with the west-northwest orientation, although I'll tell you, that's not a lock or a guarantee. It's possible there's some retrograding of the pattern into California. I just don't see that in my interpretation of things just yet. But big numbers are possible during that, that, that time period, 11.1 to 11.4. We could be looking at a foot or more in a lot of places across the Intermountain West, Pacific Northwest, um, and just the northern tier of the Rockies there. That could be a very interesting time frame with colder air in place as well. All right, so there you go. That's the way it looks to me right now. We're in a very uh, good pattern. It'll give way to high pressure for a few days, but then it comes right back at us. Take care. Thanks for tuning in.